All right, hey guys, what's up? Doing um some Doom here. Uh, we got three, Doom two, Doom one. I'm going to Doom two. It's Chris here, if you don't mind. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm new to solo let's plays. So, uh, yeah, doing a little bit of some Doom two here. It's a classic game. Can uh, pick it up. I, I think it's a little bit. Actually, never really played it before. Uh, played the first Doom on the Doom 3 BFG edition. This is what I'm playing it on right now. It's a classic game. I really like it. 25 years old. Uh, Bethesda and ID released. Uh, I don't know. Which one I'm supposed to do? I think it's how long it is the. Oh, uh, let's go. Part 20. Just kind of start in the middle. Um, but yeah, it's a classic game. A lot of people regard it as one of the best games of all time. Uh, the original Doom was great. You know what I mean? It was um one of those games I highly. It was the father, I guess, of a lot of FPS's that and Wolfenstein kind of set the way for Halo and Call of Duty, I guess. I uh, never played Wolfenstein 3D. Played a, played a little bit of it on my phone. Never really... No, never really played too much. Like 15 or 20 minutes total. Just a couple minutes here and there when I got bored. And yeah. Um, for anyone who doesn't know history behind this game, uh, it's like, it was published, I don't, I forget when Doom 2 was published, but I know the original one was 88, I want to say, and, uh, published by id Software, makers of Quake and Doom, obviously, and Wolfenstein, basically you kind of got this giant open level, and you could go through and... Uh, just kind of, yeah, you you find the exit and then you got to figure out how to get there. So like right here, I need no, I can just exit, but I don't want to, because I like torturing myself and trying to find the egg, uh, the secrets and shit. Um, no oh shit. Oh shit. So yeah, it's kind of a little bit of basic Doom history. I guess it's kind of FPS history too. An important looking door. Yeah, I haven't played this game before, so at least Doom 2. I played the played through the original. It's pretty fun, even though it's dated and it kind of shows. It's still fun to play. Just to dart around at the speed of fucking, like a car, kind of killing shit. The story, at least, I know, Doom 1, you're on Mars, uh, there's aliens, that's pretty much it, and yeah. I would do a playthrough of it, but uh, when I played it, even though it might be better, since I have played through it, it's kind of boring, because I just get lost, which probably will happen here, and I can't get back up there. There's nothing up there. Doesn't really matter. And yeah, they kind of re release You can get all these on Xbox Live. That's what I'm playing on. But uh, you can just buy all three Dooms. Doom 1, 2, and 3. As part of the Doom 3 BFG edition. They released last year for the... Um, for the, what's it called? 25th anniversary. <clears throat> This is really horrible let's go I can tell but you know hey I'm not used to this no use just to sitting in a room talking to myself knowing other people will hear you know usually I just talk to myself not expecting anyone else to hear and I apologize if the uh, whatever it's called audio there you go is horrible or it's desynced that's no word. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of new to this. Clearly, I keep saying that. I should probably stop. 
Yep, yeah, this is open. And yeah, guess who's not joining that Xbox Live party right now? Oh, what the hell much? I might finish this level or two in this video. You know what I mean? It's this. It's Doom One at least. It's not. It you can finish it fairly quickly. Um, it took me a while because I try to go. I get lost multiple times, and I try to go through and find the secrets, and, and I just fucking die. Repeatedly. And yeah, this isn't like a lot of modern games where they give you, you know, an on-screen minimap. Clearly, you have to hit. I think it's back. I don't know, but you gotta hit a certain button, and it'll bring up a mini map. And you gotta look through that, and even then it doesn't really mark stuff on it, like it doesn't mark... Well, it might, I know, it's tough to tell on a shitty quality TV. And, uh, yeah. But, I mean, if you're really interested in, like, where video games kind of started, highly recommend picking up the uh, Doom 3 BFG edition. Stands for a big fucking gun. It's named after a gun in. I know it's in Doom 1. I think it's in this one too. And I believe it was in Quake. Then again, I'm not entirely sure, so. Uh, ooh, what's back here? I don't know. Let's find out. But yeah. It's kinda, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, just real professional. I had to cough in the middle of a recording. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you don't find me too boring, uh, maybe I'll play more of this. I'm not really good at just talking by myself. So maybe I'm boring as shit. I don't know. Uh, you guys can yell at me in the comments, all two of you that watch these videos that are just us kind of, you know, being uh, narcissists watching our own videos. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. Beginning of a channel. Seven subscribers. I guess you can call this like a seven subscriber video. Hey, you gotta appreciate everyone. I'm not really good at talking to myself. Uh, fuck, I'm lost. Nope, it's not B. Ah, X. That what? Just found out that's what brings up the mini map, guys. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I get the double barrel now. You do. You get to hold more than two weapons in this. Something I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video when I started talking about Doom. But. You know, like, I think you can hold nine, no, six or seven, yeah, I think it's like, you know, the fist, the pistol, I think you always get the fists and pistol, not really sure about, um, the, the other ones, if you die in a stage, you do lose them and have to go back and find them, which is annoying as shit, because, especially if you're on a harder difficulty and on a later stage, it's kind of a bitch to go through and find all of them because you don't have any weapons you're gonna get killed 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 I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about not Scottish uh, not talking about Scottish um, dress right now yeah so I'm completely fucking lost and I understand anyone all two of you that have played this game that are on YouTube um, you know, feel free to yell at me to tell me where to go, uh, because I have no idea, and, yeah, but yeah, like I said, first one, story doesn't really matter, so I mean, unless you guys, and it's really not that different from two, at least, you know, the little bit I've played of this, I haven't really played it before, uh, three, which, once again, haven't played. It's really different. It's actually scary. You know, this one, the first two really aren't terribly scary. 
so yeah and um yeah graphically and um I don't know, gameplay wise. So far, the first two aren't very different. You do get. Oh, wait, I have the red card. God damn it. Just noticed that I had that. Feel free to go back and then tell me how far into the video I got the red card. And then look at the time I just figured it out now. And then please tell me how long it was because. That. I feel really stupid. Alright, so that needs the blue card. Yeah, a big part of the game is finding these colored cards. And, um... Yeah, they'll... Sometimes they can get to be kind of a bitch. Because you'll need, like, one card to open a door to find where another card is to open a different door, and it's... You know, find a switch. It's a bastard. I'm telling you. It's annoying as fuck. But hey, it's still a fun game. As frustrating as it is. Sometimes. I remember uh, one of them. One of the levels in the first game, I ended up using a. Like, I just had to use an online walkthrough. It got confusing, because I kept forgetting where I was, and where I was supposed to be. Oh, there's shit down there. Oh. See, I should be paying more attention, instead of trying to talk to myself like a crazy person. I don't know why the hell that, uh, bucket's kind of glitching through there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bucket, barrel, whatever you call it. Yeah. Blue keycard. Does this go up? No? Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to. We'll find out. I don't know how the fuck. Ah, shit. Oh. You're fucking with me. Alright. Great, let's let's load a save and go back in five minutes. It's genius. Yeah, I know our channel's video's gonna be kinda long. Because I'm honestly lazy as fuck and don't like editing. I'm trying to find a point where not cutting myself off mid sentence and, you know, not in the middle of some big gameplay thing, so. Yeah. Sorry if this is gonna end up being like a half hour video of me trying to get past the first two levels in Doom. Because I don't like thinking, to be honest. I don't like trying to find... Oh man, well here's a good spot because I'm not in mid-sentence. Yeah. It's too much work. I'm lazy as shit. The only... I'd say this double barrel is pretty good. Probably better than your um, actual shotgun. But only thing I don't like, gonna reload after every shot. It's a little bit annoying. Ah! No, fuck. Alright, guess who's saving here when he's got six health. Cause look how smart I am. Yeah. Alright, up here. Check down that hallway. I don't know why the fucking guys make sounds like they're different monsters. But they do. Uh, 100% kills, 100% items, 0% secret, way over par, and I'm thinking I'm gonna call it a video. Uh, have a nice day, guys. Uh, stay chill. Stay awesome. Yeah. Retrosphere. Doom 2. No MF. Just Doom. Yeah.